Hi, I'm Sandy Mitchell, and today in my big red chair, we're going to talk about how nurturing equals influence, which equals leadership. I read a quote from John Maxwell and thought it distilled leadership down exquisitely. He said, if you look around, you'll discover that there are people in your life who want to be fed with encouragement, recognition, security, and hope. That process is called nurturing, and it's a need of every single human being. And if you desire to become an influencer in others' lives, start by nurturing them. I love that quote. You know, some people may look at that and, and think of it as manipulation, but it's not, especially if you have the right intention. We are all full of energy, both anabolic, which is healing and positive, and catabolic, which is harmful and negative. And many of us live more in the catabolic world of fight or flight or freeze, feeling like we have to fight for every single thing that happens to us. We have to fight to earn enough money to pay our bills. We have to fight to stay off the addictive behaviors that bog us down. We have to fight to keep our values. We have to fight to take care of our families. But we also live in the anabolic world where we can see the needs of others and help them. We can see opportunities where others may just see problems. We can see synergy where others may see dissonance. In order for us to succeed in life, we can't do it all alone. People who live in the catabolic world feel like they are alone. They may say things like, just let me do it because I can do it faster myself. Or, God, why won't anyone help me? Or why do I always come out on the losing end of the stick? I say stop. Stop looking inward and start looking outward. Stop feeling like it's all up to you and see how you can help others. The more people you help, the more people will want to help you. Energy is reciprocal. Like attracts like. The more positive you are, the more positive people you attract. The more helpful you are, the more helpful people you attract. The more interesting you are, the more ideas you generate, the more, insert your desire here, the more you attract those same kinds of people. What you focus on, you will receive. So if you focus on giving encouragement, recognition, security, and hope, you'll start seeing them everywhere, and you'll start receiving them from others as well. Pretty soon you'll be so full up that you can't help but overflow them to others. So today, look around you at the people that you see. Your family, your colleagues, the grocery store clerk, whoever. See what their needs are and feed them. Do they need an encouraging word on something that they're about to do? Do they need recognition for something that they've just done? Do they need to feel secure? Do they need hope that there is better things that are to come? Here's where leadership comes in. You need to take the first step. If you feed others what they need, then they'll give you influence. And once you have the permission to influence them, then you can lead them. So this week, stop and really see at least five people. What do they really need? Do they need a word of encouragement, recognition, security, or hope? How can you help them in that? And watch your influence and your leadership grow. Here's to our success.